Well, I'm going to teach you the basics of waves right now, or ocean waves. Um, waves start out by the wind, and they start out as swells, like so. And as they get closer and closer to the shore, they start having uh, friction along the bottom, and this causes the wave to start to break. And eventually, as the incline of the beach gets steeper and steeper, eventually they literally fall over on themselves, and then they what we call break. And then the water flows up onto the beach, and then it heads back towards the open ocean, like so, and we call that the undertow. Now, if you actually were to look at the actual individual molecules in the wave, they're going around in little circles. And the only part of the wave that's actually going forward is the top of the wave. And so, if by chance you ever get caught out there in the ocean, if you can get on top of the wave, you can ride that part of the wave in, or surf it. Now let's talk a little bit about the parts of a wave. If you're looking at a wave, the distance between crests, like this, is called the wavelength. And the, from the top of the wave to the bottom of the wave, or the crest to the trough, this distance right here, that's called the wave height. Those guys, you got length and height, there you go. And, uh, well, let's see, is there anything else I want to talk about? Yeah, the, the distance it takes a wave to go past a stationary object, let's say you had a, a pole or something out here in the middle of the, in the ocean here. The distance, it, uh, the time it takes for a wave to go past that object out there, that's called the period. So that's your basics of a wave, and uh, catch a wave.